Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my hidden waterfall base tutorial. It's got a nice entrance right here. It's a really cool base, honestly. It has everything you could need for survival, minus a nether portal and a mine, but you could put that somewhere. Maybe a farm too. You could put it underground in here, but yeah, look at that. I think it's pretty cool. I'll show you how to build it block by block, step by step. I won't leave out a single thing. Everything you see here is going to be in the tutorial. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so for your hidden river, hidden river, hidden waterfall base, you're gonna need to find the materials found in my hot bar below. Just some pretty simple materials. You're gonna need some light blue stained glass. You can use normal glass. It's not gonna make a huge difference. Ladders, spruce stairs, and slabs. All forms of this nice stone brick, all the cracked and mossy. You don't have to have it. You can just have normal, it's okay. Uh, polished andesite and polished granite. You don't have to have those two. Again, those are just some material choices I used. Now the first step is gonna be to find somewhere in your world, like for instance, a flat stone cliff face just like this. This because that's gonna be where you're gonna make your waterfall come out of you are gonna need a bucket of water you are definitely gonna need a bucket of water um, let's go ahead and just take the light blue stained glass I don't I don't know what I was doing there let's take the light blue stained glass let's throw that on the ground okay and then let's grab our ladder and then grab that back that way we can just quick select that block back but essentially you're gonna to want to break one two three four five six seven blocks across anywhere just seven blocks and you're gonna to want to fill that with water at one point now these seven blocks you want to go down to the ground you shouldn't have a huge gap between the where the water comes out in the ground otherwise it's gonna be kind of difficult but you want to break out those same one two three four five six seven blocks and that's just gonna give a nice cover to your hidden base it's not a super secret base you can still see it but it is more hidden than your typical survival base you're then gonna to want to fill in water in all seven of those blocks and it's going to cover up the front of your house. Now these blocks won't be here. These are just here to help me with the tutorial. And you're also going to want to break this area out at some point. But we'll get to that in a minute. That's going to be how you get in and out of your build. So let's go ahead and grab that light blue stained glass back. And uh, well, actually, you know what? There, there's this water here. Let's just pretend the water is there. And you may want to actually add that water later in the build. It may make it a little bit difficult to build. Now on the same block that your ground block is on, so like this block right here is going to be where you want to dig out the base of your build. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks. Bring that up four, or a total of four, just like this. So you're going to make a five by four thing, so four like this, and then five this way. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I'm not sure that was too pleasant to listen to. So you're gonna have a five by four square, and then the top three blocks, you're just gonna crack those out as well. Now you're gonna bring this back a specified number of blocks that I'm gonna make up now. So we're gonna go back, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine blocks total, and of course, you wanna just drill out this same sort of pattern that we have right here, but you're gonna drill it out nine blocks back, so I'm not gonna make you watch me do this by hand, because it's probably not too fun to watch. But uh, yeah, nine blocks back. All right, so it just should look like that when you dig it back nine blocks. Now, of course, there's gonna be water there, so let's go ahead and put that water back, and then, I think you guys have already guessed where that blue stained glass goes. So it's gonna go in your build right here just to sort of uh, denote the difference between the actual water and your window, but it, the blue helps it blend in just a tiny bit. So that's why I chose to use that blue color. Now, right here on this wall, we're gonna break these three blocks. We're gonna grab some ladders. We're not gonna need this, we're not gonna need the water, and we're gonna grab a sign. And then you might need some torches. Let me go ahead and just place some of the materials that I'm going to need. We're going to need torches and a crafting table. You're actually going to need two crafting tables. Completely unnecessary, but aesthetically they, they make a little bit of sense. So let's go ahead and put the entrance here. Let's go ahead and dig down. I think it's one, two, and three. Let me make sure. And then just dig this block over. You're like, oh, Neo, well, you can't even get in and out. Boom. They put a sign there. Pretty cool, huh? Break out these blocks right here. Crafting table, crafting table. And then you're going to need smooth stone if you have any things showing that aren't smooth stone. And then just go ahead and put torches there. And then your ladder all the way up and down that. And that's going to be the entrance. So it's, it is it is more hidden. Yes, you could just get in it if you were a player. But it's not really the goal of this base to have some super, super secret entrance. If you wanted to make it a little more secret, maybe something like that. So again, you can see the inside of it. But it's just a cool house to live in, honestly. But uh, yeah, to get in, you just go down here come up and you're in the base so yeah let's get started on the inside now so for the floors in here we're gonna have polished andesite so I'm just going to build the floor real quick but it's just polished andesite or whatever material you want to use you could use oak wood or something but the ceiling is going to be spruce and I don't I don't even need to cut it I don't need to cut it I could build so fast 
Uh, let's just put a torch there for now just so you can sort of see. Now the walls are actually going to be a mix of these three blocks right here, okay? So I'm just going to randomly place some crack stone, and then I'm going to randomly place some mossy stone, mossy stone bricks. Now this is not something you need to do. It is really not necessary to the build. Uh, aesthetically, I think it looks the best, but at the same time, it's kind of hard in survival to get those blocks, I think. Uh, I don't know. Is it hard to get those blocks? I really don't know. Let me know in the comments, because I know used to you had to find the stronghold and get these blocks and they were like a super super rare block but I'm sure as uh, the game has grown up I've missed things and uh, yeah but let me know in the comments how hard is it to get this do you just need like a vine now I know you can make mossy uh, cobblestone and mossy cobblestone used to be like a freaking commodity on a server if you had that it was that was a valuable block you couldn't just get that but uh, yeah of course don't forget this back wall here so I'm just sort of randomly placing it not going with any sort of pattern at all uh, I think that's the beauty of it it's just supposed to look a little random and rustic I guess I guess rustic would be the word I'm not really sure but uh, yeah you just want to place every block make sure it's at least a stone brick and you'll end up with something that looks like that so pretty cool pretty cool um, on this back wall here you're gonna want to take your uh, polished granite and you're just gonna line the top of the build just like this and make a little archway and then you can go ahead and just slap two torches up there and they look nice now the roof in this build it's it's a little tricky but at the same time it's not we're just going to play some stairs oh play some upside down stairs just right there and then we're gonna go over to this wall right here we're gonna break all these and we're just gonna make the stairs go all the way and then they curve on the inside so you just have to place a stair right there and right there and then just upside down like that and place them in between and it'll make everything look nice and cool okay and then we're gonna break this block right here we're actually gonna just break the outline we're gonna leave the middle for now and all we have to do is the same sort of thing so you just want to make sure it outlines those center stone blocks right there now of course they're not gonna be stone in a second but just for now it makes it a little bit easier I think to build the roof and then we're going to break these blocks right here we're actually going to just put slabs right here and here and this just makes your roof have a lot more depth and I think it just looks a little bit better we're gonna come up in here and just place two blocks like that we are then going to take a wall made of cobblestone and again this is something optional we're going to take a block of glowstone and then we're gonna take some acacia trap doors which can be found right here and then or not acacia what trap is it jungle maybe I think it was jungle yeah jungle I like how jungle looks for lanterns just because it's well it's contrasting to the uh, the block we used for the roof as well as just it looks like a lantern like it has like the opening that a lantern would have now in the walls here we're actually going to make two lights so we're just gonna put two pieces of glowstone right there repeat the same thing so one off from this and then a two block space in between we may actually want to do a three block space in between like that I think that would look uh, better than what I was planning um, let's do let's do a mossy and then just put the same sort of jungle trap doors on top of those make sure you don't place it from the bottom because that little little divot or whatever on the trap door will be on the wrong side so you just want to place it from the top and cool that's pretty much the interior of the build let's actually get to building the inside now with all the fancy materials and whatnot so yeah let me grab those so I've just been toying around with some ways to do the bed. You could do something like this with two uh, things and have it a little overhang like that and then maybe put a torch there. But I think I want to make, I want to go a step above what I'd normally do. Let's make this bedroom look really nice. So we need to grab some stairs made of stone brick, of course. We can just remove that bed block. We're going to break these right here and we're going to curve the ends just like that. Actually, no, let's not curve the ends. Let's not curve the ends because we actually have the block behind there. Let's break this, and then this is going to be where you want to uh, continue everything. I'd use one of every type just to look a little bit better. And now back here, we have room, for instance, we can put a torch here. We can put two pots on either side of that torch. And then we can throw in, I'm just going to do two blue orchids for time's sake and because it's my favorite plant in the game. Uh, let's grab a painting. Yeah. I think you guys know where I'm going with that and they have some paintings behind it and I think that makes the bedroom I think it just brings it up a whole nother notch I think that looks really cool maybe do the torches like that and yeah I think that's pretty sweet um, let's grab the bookcases here let's just go ahead and get the enchantment room out of the way so we're just gonna break these blocks right here and we're just going to go back uh, we only need to go back I think that many see if I put books no we're gonna go back one more so three into your wall only too high or we'll remedy we'll remedy that in a second I promise guys we're not gonna leave it like that you know me I'm very OCD so in my builds I'm always gonna make everything look as pretty as possible because 
Well, uh, to be quite frank, otherwise it's gonna bother me and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't end up uploading it. So we're gonna take some slabs. Okay, I think you guys are no no I think you guys have figured out the direction. We're gonna break these blocks just right here. We're going to just slab everything up. We're gonna take glowstone. And on these inside blocks, you don't need anything, but it's nice just to put some glowstone like that. It makes it look kind of cool. Put a glowstone under where your enchantment table is going to go. You can continue the same pattern in here, although I would advise putting maybe some crafting tables like this. That way you just have some area for crafting tables. Uh, right here, I'm going to take an anvil. I'm going to place that because you're going to need that. And let's, let's go ahead and grab a stone brick block. Let's just grab one of these and let's put the anvil right there. Let me verify it's a full 30 for you guys, because otherwise, like, <laughs> what's the point of it? Uh, yep, full 30. Nice. Um, I don't know if I have a room for, like, an ender chest. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's break a block and let's just see. I don't know why, but I always put ender chests near these, just because I feel like they belong. Let's make sure it's a full... Th oh, we gotta grab another one. Another diamond axe. Okay, let's make sure it's a still full 30. If not, we'll just remove it. It is, so perfect. So now you got everything you need, and there is not a block behind there, so let's do another mossy. You won't really be able to see it anyways. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool enchantment room. Um, hmm, let me think. We do need chests. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, you're going to need chests in a survival build. Otherwise, things could get a little sticky. Let's just put a crafting table right there. And let's put some pressure plates that are made of spruce on top of these. I think that'll make it look a little bit better. Oh, yeah. And even, even something like this. Okay, so let's take the spruce that we used. And uh, we could do something like, maybe like that? I'm not really, no. Let's not do that. Maybe maybe some spruce fence and then top it with those? I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comments. You can really do whatever you want, but I think that actually looks pretty sweet. So we're going to leave it like that. Um, let's make some area for some chests. So, I, where did I put the chests? I always do that. I always make the chests go away. It's like the one block I need. Um, we can do we can do chests right here, I think. No, we shouldn't do that. That'd be a little bit a little bit funky. Hmm, let me think about the chest. So these blocks right here, we're gonna have to actually break one of those glowstone. We're just gonna break out these blocks. And uh, we actually are gonna take more glowstone. We're gonna line the top and the, the like back side of them. You don't have to do this. You can of course just put some stone brick behind it. It's not really gonna matter. That, that's a lot of chests. You're probably not gonna need a whole lot more than that. We'll just put a chest right there for redundancy's sake. And then we'll put a crafting table and a crafting table. And then we'll do furnaces right here. And that'll pretty much take care of your survival needs. You're not going to need probably more than six furnaces. I don't even know how many. Six, seven crafting tables. And that's a lot of double chests. If you wanted to have more chest storage, you could always do something like this. I encourage stuff like that. You could just put a chest like right up there. And, and it would work perfect. Now, I'm not going to put it there because I think it looks prettier without it. But that's just me, you know, you can really do whatever you want. That's that's what I'm trying to aim for these builds is they're not, they're not, this isn't like how you have to do it. It's just a suggestion to give you ideas. And I broke out that 3x3 three three area. I didn't really say what I was doing, but I think you guys get the idea. We're going to put glowstone on top, soul sand on bottom, and then we'll just put cracked behind it. We'll grab nether wart, and uh, that's pretty much complete. We're going to grab these same spruce right here, and we're just going to line the top of that and the bottom of those, close them up. And you got a nice little nether wart growery. Um, right here, you could have your cauldron and stuff. So let me go ahead and just break these blocks out. Let's grab a cauldron. And let's put some water in it, <laughs> which is always nice to have. And then you could just do your brewing stand, like, right there. Again, it, it, these kind of things, they're, they're kind of... It doesn't really matter what you do. Let's, let's actually just put a stone brick stair there. I'm thinking that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be the best. And then put that block behind it. Take a brewing stand. Now, if you're even more OCD than me, you could do something like this, and you don't want to you don't want to change the block that's right next to the glass because you'll see it through the water. But for instance, if you wanted to change this, you totally could, and I think that looks a heck of a lot better, anyways. But yeah, now we have we could do the same sort of thing with the stair there. So now we have a brewing stand, cauldron. We have pretty much everything. You have an enchantment table, a bedroom. You could put some more stuff in here. Yeah, let well. I don't know, could you put some more stuff in here? You could definitely do like maybe a, maybe put some glass here and do like a melon farm or something. You, you could break down here and just have some water and maybe do a little melon farm. I don't know how well that would work with this build. Uh, let me toy around with the idea and I'll get back to you guys. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. It would just be, it'd be kind of weird to build in here. And I think this is pretty much the end of the video. I wasn't planning on making it look this good, but I always just sort of, I get inspired and things just happen and we end up with something like this. And I'm just, I just see things like, like right here, guys. 
I see, th I don't see things like a crazy person, but I see things in a build like right here. Do you guys see that? I wouldn't have thought that you could put chests there, but I mean, you really can just stick chests wherever in a build like this. That's why I love underground homes, because if this wasn't, you'd have to modify the roof and things would get weird, but you could really just put, you could just put a, <laughs> a lot of chests just in random spots and it really wouldn't matter. And now that you can place chests next to each other, I think it'd look better. See, why has it got to be like that? Normally it won't automatically connect them. What if I want it? Yeah, like that. I think you have to be holding down shift. But yeah, look at that. Now we got a bunch of chests. This this area is utilized pretty much as well as you can utilize it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the recent support on the channel. You guys are so, so awesome. Every single one of you. Best people in the world. I really do have an incredible fan base. You guys are so kind in the comments. And I love talking to you guys in the comments. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to reply. That's what I've been trying to do for the past two weeks. Is reply to every single comment. It's not really that tiring, believe it or not. I don't know why more YouTubers don't do it. Probably because I don't get as many views as them. But that's okay. I'm happy with how everything's going. Uh, thank you guys. I don't know if I thanked you, but thank you for watching. If you're curious about the shader pack, the texture pack, or any of that other fancy music stuff or anything like that, it's all going to be in the description below for you all. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have a Twitter anymore. It got deleted. But uh, that's pretty much it. You can subscribe to me if you want to see more videos. I'm not going to force you to do anything. You can leave a like on the video. If we could get a 1,000 likes on this cool hidden, hidden I keep calling it a river base, hidden waterfall base, I'd be really appreciative of that. But if we don't get it, it's okay. I'll still love you guys all the same. Thank you all again for watching a final time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.